Hi, I'm Lily Cameron. And I'm Doug Cameron. Welcome to Design Build Diaries. We're going to show you how we build healthy, high performance homes from, from concept, concept to, to completion. completion. All right, guys, we are back at Chalet Chloe. So the last time we were out here, this was only in foundation stage, and we just had a foundation poured and no frame. So we're out here with Chris Abbott from Abbott Custom Carpentry, who's got our great framing crew, and they have gotten so much framing accomplished, and we are gonna do a little walkthrough and talk about what they've accomplished since we've been out here last. So Chris, do you wanna take us on a little tour? Sure, this is the entryway over here. We're gonna Come in here, you're going to have some big window units on the left and right side of here just so that way you can get some good sunlight. This has all been done in about three weeks, right? Uh, about the last two weeks of work time or so. Yeah, we've had a, a nice little ice storm in the middle of that. Yeah. <laughs> you can um, see area. all the way back. So there'll be kitchen back here, living room, and all this space goes all the way back into, you know, you'll see a bar cabinet at this back end of this hallway. Yeah. Fireplace. We're sitting in front of the fireplace right now. But Chris, for a two-story house like this, and you know 11 foot ceilings what are you like about how long does it take you normally to get through your part in the framing stage ah uh, for something like this uh with good weather maximum maybe six weeks mm -hmm. you know and that's top to bottom everything complete punched out ready to go and dried in yes awesome. yeah which is really fast and chris is an awesome framer guys mm -hmm. so i'm gonna brag on him a little bit he's got a just incredible trailer that he brings with just every tool you could possibly think of he gets stuff done really quickly brings a lot of people a lot of manpower so you know i feel like and i will end. say not just manpower there i was pleasantly surprised to see a female framer on your crew yeah. that was yeah. awesome yes ma'am awesome yes, ma love that thank yeah you. a little diversity on thank your you team. absolutely can you walk me through a couple of the more of the details around the house that you guys have gotten done so far well this was one of the biggest details was the five Five ply, 24 inch LVO beam. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, 36 foot long. That was a. He's talking about this right that here. That was a task. Mm -hmm. This yes. guy. Mm -hmm. Yes, this guy right here, which is carrying in our complete roof load from up above, our floor load from the second floor. Like, that was the biggest task of this floor right here, besides the 11 foot ceilings. Anything else super complicated or tricky uh, that there, you ran into? This, no. Nothing complicated yeah. at all on this one. That's awesome. A, it was a piece of cake. Great. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's been exciting working on this project. And what has made it uh, the most exciting and the, you know, simplified it for you? Well, I haven't even got to the most exciting part for me. It's going to be the simplicity of the roof. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just fun, small gables, you know, some over frame. That's just the funnest part of the project for me. And then watching it all come together, you know, putting the face on it. Yeah, see I was it, watching y'all put the walls up. And it was yeah. really cool the other day. Just getting it, and I had the kids in the car, and they were getting to just watch the walls go up. Yeah. I'm gonna give you all a couple of quick best practices, some good takeaways. The biggest one that I think Chris really hit home to me was we've really got to start with a good foundation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, and if not, if not, what the heck? What the heck can transpire? What do you mean a good foundation? A good foundation is being level pretty much throughout the whole project. You know, um, there's some tolerances that you can give or take that can slide we shoot for zero tolerance mm -hmm. so you're just making sure that your slab is as close to zero as possible what do we get on this one uh we were within a half inch across the whole thing awesome mm -hmm. yeah. so. pcw is our concrete uh, contractors um, excellent guys yeah they, excellent they did guys. they did a great job thank mm -hmm. you pcw so so at, at that point if you have a level foundation that's going to allow chris and his team to really throw these walls yeah. up without having to cut each wall stud to a different height to accommodate and add a level foundation. Y'all are pretty much able to do that here, right? Yes, we were able to do that here mm -hmm. without any issue at all. And then if you do it right when you start out at the very beginning, in theory, once you get up to the second floor, what happens? It's just uh, kind of like a flow just, from there, right? Everything should be perfect. You everything should be able works. to order your material to size, get it, put it up, and go. Yeah, that's right. What is this right here we're looking at? Oh, uh, this is a reference line. Uh, this is a reference line that me and my guys popped on the foundation prior to any walls going up, just so that way we can make the make sure the foundation was completely square mm -hmm. all the way around. And it. Can we turn the generator off? Yes, we can. You guys, we were actually getting some work done here before the video camera showed up. Can you turn that generator off? Please? Surprisingly, that's a very quiet compressor. <laughs> it is. It <laughs> is for the power that yeah. it holds. It, 
It's yeah. definitely quiet. So uh, any other framing takeaways that you can share? Maybe maybe something you really appreciate from the builder's perspective. Maybe we've done good, maybe we haven't done good, but oh, kind of school up some of these other builders dude, on here. How the heck do you work well with a framer? The best, in my opinion, the best thing you can do is build a relationship. So that way everybody is mesh and, and cohesive throughout the project. So that way you're not bumping heads. If everybody can get on the same page, the project goes so much smoother. And it's about mm -hmm. planning. Mm -hmm. We've been planning this what, two two months prior to mm -hmm. building actually starting. Um, That's right. You know, getting on site, getting the lumber here, going over the trusses, going over everything. It's about planning and just having everything ready to execute when it's time to execute. What about having the mechanical design in place? How's that helped you? The mechanical de design is all in the trusses and everything. That really has no, it doesn't help or hurt me unless the it's not in place prior to the build. Okay. Yeah. If we got to redesign all that stuff in the middle of me doing these walls and then we got to wait on the trusses that's going to be a big standstill for a while on this job yeah so that's kind of what i wanted to hear the yeah. he wasn't impacted because it didn't affect no, him i was that not means i did my all. job well on that yeah. one so uh, you know, and shout out to Austin Star Services for helping me get through that process with the the pre, oh, I'll just call it HVAC consultation. So I'll do another video, sure, how to do that with y'all guys. But that set the stage to where Chris just had a nice, pretty plan to look at. Yeah. You're able to go according to that plan. And in general, it worked, right? Yes. Yes, yeah. it absolutely did. That means we did our job pretty darn well. And the, I really don't have a lot of you know, like horror stories to share with y'all on this project. Uh, our windows and doors maybe out a little longer than we expected and even though we did like a heck of a job ordering those soon and pre-planning and stuff so there always are going to be these unforeseen and that's really when the relationships you know become really important but so, we'll have to share we'll share in the future as we get to that point if the windows haven't arrived we'll do a little uh, how like do we handle that right. workaround and then we're getting ready to put up the second story yes uh, second story is in progress now probably getting to exterior sheathing midweek next week mm -hmm. um, the roof will probably be on beginning the following week. All right, so next month we'll have a lot more to share. Yes. All right, yes, cool. All right. Well, cool. adios amigos. Adios amigos. Adios amigos. <laughs>